I'm Shauna, and this is Brian. Welcome to our channel, Life Uninterrupted. In 2018, we sold our home, auctioned off most of our belongings, and bought a motorhome, which we affectionately refer to as Frida. We travel full-time with our two French Bulldogs, Lucy and Ricky. Join us on our adventures by subscribing and hitting the bell icon so that you're notified when our videos release each week. going to go through this Keystone Cougar, I believe it is, and uh, notice that the slide's in. I mean, that, you can't yeah. even slide by that. I mean, you could, there's a panel here, it's, uh, it's basically the fascia of the front side of the slide, and you can't get past it. Ah. So you have to move your slide out if you're on the road. Yeah. A rest stop or something, you needed to get back in there, you got to put your slide first out. Yeah. It's not a big deal. Right. But, Kind of a pain if you ask me. Huh. Keystone 2021. Keystone Cougar. Cougar 2021. Right. And I just want to show you some of the cute fixtures that they're putting in these rigs now. Not only do they have the light colored interior, but look at how cute this is. Look at these lights. I mean, they're just very modern. Kind of, what do you call that? Farmhouse? Yeah, farmhouse-ish. Yes. Farmhouse modern. And then this cute beam that comes out of the ceiling. Very nice. What they're doing yeah. a lot now is in these car, um, fifth wheels and lots of other coaches too, they had these what is that? hidden receptacles. It pops up and locks into place and you have outlets and USB. So 110 and then USB outlets, which is kind of cool. So when you don't want them, you're taking up space or you, know, you want just the item and just That's push awesome. them down inside the countertop. So then you don't see it on your walls. Mm -hmm. Let me... Yeah, they're not attached to the walls or to these um, panels like in our coach. You have to set them out with a little spacer behind the outlet. That's very Just cool. a cleaner look. Yeah. Got the office. It's kind of cool. Has an office? Well, let's see. Oh. It's actually pretty cool. Oh, I love it. Like that. It's almost like Scott and Debbie's, but theirs is positioned instead of this way, it's positioned this way, and you walk in the door from inside the yeah. kitchen area. Check this out. So look it's what nice. they did because they are realizing that people work remote from the rig. They built in this nice corkboard. Spot for television, so it could be an area for kids too. Yes. Or just a little den to get away from the husband mm -hmm. or wife. Absolutely. Shut the door and say, me time. I need me time right now. We have a dog kennel right above it, which is awesome. Ah, this is so nice. So nice. Did you just fall down? Oh, a dog kennel. Dog kennel up there. Did you see Ricky how to climb up the ladder? Yes. That's for the grandkids. That's for the grandkids when they come to stay. Oh, check this. 
is a nice bathroom. That is spacious. Wow, I like that. So this is probably one of the nicer bathrooms we've seen. Oh in this class. My. Look at that. That is beautiful. An epoxy porch top. Different colors. It's beautiful. And the light color. <gasps> is that a king size? Looks like a king size. Holy heck. Let's buy it. Nice headboard. Yeah, it's sort of king size. It's a sort of king size bed. Very nice. There's the TV. Look at. No, maybe not. Oh, you would sure think so. What do they call it? A televator? Oh, there's the TV. Oh, jeez. Oh, this is just oh. like a. Jewelry box. Mass. Store, store your stuff gizmos and gadgets. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And two little tiny. Oh, look at how cute. Nightstands, tables. Look at it. It's something. Really good. It's something. <laughs> ah. Very nice. And tons of closet space back there behind Brian. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. I'm blown away by the bathroom. So, and also on this model, I mean, the slide, it looks like when it when it's in, you can at least get into the coach. You can't get to this back part of the sink, but you can get around to the refrigerator. Mm -hmm. uh, actually get to the front part of the sink. Whereas that one we saw, it was couldn't even get into anything. You have to no. the slide out to uh, get into the refrigerator or water or whatever. So. You know, here's something too. It's, it's a rounded one. wall. Yeah. Nice, it just breaks up the blockiness of these things. Definitely. And, uh, you know, if this were square, mm -hmm. right, it'd just be kind of awkward looking. So it's good to use these little architectural touches to soften the insides. Very nice. The interiors. Can you close that for me? Look at the soft clothes. Very nice. So what, what some manufacturers are going to is um, these these flush slides that are pretty close to the to the floor height. Wow. Um, they use this vinyl material uh, in place of carpet. So it's really nice that you know, this is nice and thin as this slide comes out. Basically, it's a nice smooth transition. No more like in ours where you have a about a two inch rise to the top of the slide. Right. So that's really nice to have that. That is super cool. Nice, no carpet zone, easy to clean for pets and children. Love it. And then also this rig has no floor vents on the main level. So that begs a question for me, where does your, where does your um, heating and- it Must come from the- Heating comes out. Heat pumps, I'm not sure. Huh, all right. Yeah, it must come out of the heat pumps, three different AC heat pump units. Here's where it talks about the flush floor kitchen slide. No heat vents in the main floor. Oh, a lot of cool features. It's funny, we were so enamored just with the bathroom, we didn't even check out the kitchen or the living area. This is great. So this is something I haven't seen before. Let's pull out in storage. Come on, Brian. Oh, wow, look at that. Behind the fireplace. That's a good use of otherwise unusable space. So they could have just cut the front of that counter off put this in and all that space exactly. back behind there wasted. So that's actually very smart. Smart thinking, Alliance. Ah, and it's got my must have someday and that's the fireplace, love it. It's got a nice little entertainment center, decent sized TV. Again, they're using, utilizing these spaces where this would just normally be a empty cabinet. Yeah. Push this up, this is pillow and blanket storage. And very nice. Both sides. Hey, BJ. I think you might be able to stretch out on that couch. I don't know. Give it a try. Possible. Yeah, Give it a try. Possible. Pretty uh, close. Pretty close. 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 Yeah, I could make it work. 
I saw that piece off right there, so it was nice and flat. Jesus. <laughs> and look at the light fixtures here. Again, what a cute, nice touch. That's probably not the best picture of it, but is that modern farmhouse again? Yeah, 115. This one is 115. It's got a lot of stuff going on. It's an SRP too. So. And it is a 2021 Paradigm fifth wheel by Alliance. This time we're in a nice. Heritage Glen fifth wheel. And again, look at the cute fixtures. Love it. <laughs> oh my God. Finally. <laughs> So, are you telling me it's not electric? No. No. Not electric. Okay. I could take a nap here, though. Yeah, we were just noticing it. There's three couches. Or uh, maybe okay. it's two couches and two recliners. There are no buttons and gizmos over here. Okay. These are beds. Ah, okay. The only recliners. Nice. Nice. Mm. So anyhow, there's, three of them. There's just something about a couch though that's long enough to take a nap on. And very few couches and RVs are long enough for someone of my height to take a nap on. Right, go ahead and give it a try. Let's see how, what happens. Right. Up here, put my feet there. See if your other foot will fit up there. I will, but I don't wanna put my feet on the fabric. Oh my God, it's like wipe off fabric. It's pleather, it's gonna be fine. And then you could put a ginormous TV right there. What do you think of 60 inch? 60. Wow. I could see living in this um, after we decide to come off the road, but we still want to be able to move our house around, our home around when we want to. Yeah. Cause this would be great. I mean, just for the entertaining, the space, the storage. Nice size kitchen could see with it. plenty of counter space. Yeah. There's the TV. Oh, okay. You notice on this one though, they don't have the pop-up power receptacles, which are nice. You're right. MSRP seventy-seven thousand. You can probably get it for sixty. Okay, imagine that. So this is your home. Instead of paying three hundred thousand, four hundred thousand for a home, we could live in this, especially if you're interested in living minimally. I could do it. Yeah, you have to be in climates where it's where the extremes aren't terrible. You know, That's like true. Ice and snow in the winter and right. 120 degrees in the summer. There's no, no. RV that's comfortable in those conditions anyway. Not but that I'm aware of. the the beauty of it is you can just move this. So sure. you could do you could live somewhere in the winter, another place in the summer. This is true. Uh huh. Nice farmhouse sink, except this cool little grate. Oh, I like that. What is that? This strainer. It's Look kind of at cool. that. Show me how that I've works. I've seen those before. They kind of roll up out of your way. No, I have not seen that before. Show me again. Set okay. place for straining dishes or. I want one of those, or it won't work because we don't have this ridge. Right. I love it. Well, it will. It just it won't fit down inside there like this stuff. Very cool. It's okay, cool. Nice farmhouse sink. Yeah, that is a great sink. Very, very large. If you have we're traveling with pets, babies, toddlers, you could almost use that as a bathtub. It's that big. All right, let's check out the bedroom. Only two steps up. That's nice. Ooh, nice big bedroom. Look at that cute headboard. I don't think I've seen one like that before. Great. It looks like a queen size bed in here. You got could... this situation at one o'clock in the morning. Oh, look at. I always have the duck come in. What would you say the height is? Because I walked through it. So uh, maybe six feet? Six feet, yeah. Interesting. Queen size bed. Yeah. And like a lot of these, no side tape, no um, side tape. <gasps> You're right. You're right, no nightstands. And if you do see them, they're very skinny. Mm -hmm. Just maybe three or four or five inches tops. Yeah. That's all the wider ours out. Ours are about uh, maybe six or eight inches wide beside our bed, so, so nice to have. So what you could do is mount a little basket underneath each window, yeah. 
and then just try not to bump into it during the night. This is what yeah. we've done. Um, right. Mount the basket on each side, that way it holds the remotes and your glasses mm -hmm. and your earphones or whatever. Yeah. There's that it's a farm, kind of that farmhouse, modern farmhouse design again. Very cute. I like that. Huge closet. It's plumb for washer and dryer back here to the right. So, yeah. Yep. Nice big window. Something interesting that we learned from the sales rep that was kind of showing us around the fifth wheels, once he realized that we were just looky-loos and not, not serious about buying, he kind of opened up to us. And what he shared was that right now, if you were to trade in your RV, you'd get retail value for it. The problem is you get retail, but you're also going to pay on a new rig about 85% of MSRP. Now typically, and don't quote me on this, but I believe you can get about 65% MSRP. And he's saying they won't go any lower than 85. So what's happening is you're buying a new rig and already you're sort of upside down. So our advice right now, um, and his advice as well is, really think twice about buying in this market. Give it a couple years when um, we may see a flood of RVs that will be on the market from people who have purchased and may not quite have known what they were getting into when they realize that maintenance can be very expensive and the wait times just to get your rig in can be two to three months in some cases. Something else he shared with us is that parts right now are super difficult to get. And in fact, with his rigs, and I won't say what the, the brand is, um, but they are waiting for air conditioning units right now from China that aren't shipping. So their production in some cases is completely shut down. So parts are a real challenge and just getting your rig in for service can be a long wait time. So, you know, it was fun looking at the rigs and someday we'll probably upgrade Frida. You know, I don't know what it's going to be. That's a long way off. We're just having so much fun traveling and, and living in Frida that, it, it was fun for us just to look and dream, but um, if, if we were to buy, we would definitely put it off for a couple of years. Okay, so here's a bonus tip for you. The same sales rep that we were talking to said, now listen, you wanna become a millionaire? Here's what you gotta do. He said, go somewhere, especially areas where a lot of RVs travel to or, or are in storage, and open up a four bay RV repair company or service center and you'll have business all day long. So there you go. That's our tip to you. All right, I'm gonna get a jump on the installation. So I'm gonna help the crew out. They're not here yet. I'm gonna go ahead and help them out.